Steve Allison. Uh, I'm from University of California, Irvine, and uh, there I'm a microbial ecologist. Uh, but today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, a new program, a pilot program for training graduate students as part of the, the Climate uh, Champion program. Uh, first, I wanted to thank the UC President's Office for sponsoring this initiative and for providing some seed funding to get this kind of program underway. And I probably don't have to tell this audience uh, that the climate change is a major challenge, but it's not just a big challenge, it's a complex challenge that requires uh, addressing many different components of the Earth system, from the biosphere uh, to the atmosphere and the oceans, but also how these components of the planet interact with uh, human inhabitants, interact with society, uh, policy, economics. And in order to implement climate solutions, ultimately, we're going to require interactions across these, these broad uh, segments of society and our educational system as well. So how might we begin to address this challenge? And uh, the, the idea for my uh, Climate Champion program was to address it through the knowledge of our graduate students at UC Irvine. And uh, you can maybe uh, browse this cartoon here from, from PhD Comics, but the idea is that in academia, we're really good, I think, at training students uh, in conceptual knowledge and in how to teach and in how to do these uh, academic activities. But where we sometimes fall short is in training our students to actually be able to develop and implement solutions. And in also being able to do this in a, in a very diverse workforce and pursue a wide range of career options. So it turns out I've been looking at some statistics lately, and in the environmental sciences at least, only about 15% of our PhD students are actually going on to become academics. The rest of them are hopefully going out and to solve uh, real world problems, including problems related to climate change. So that's gonna uh, set up the goal for this program, the pilot program to prepare students, PhD students primarily, graduate students for careers that are related to climate change and climate solutions. So uh, the, the program is called the Climate Action Training Program and it's targeting a small group of students at UC Irvine. And the idea here is to train students with transferable skills, so skills in quantitation, communication, policy, and interaction in inter interdisciplinary groups. And furthermore, this training hopefully will enable these students to go on to pursue careers in a diverse range of topics that apply to climate solutions and climate action. <clears throat> and in the course of doing this, the hope is to use the students as a catalyst to build new partnerships uh, between academia and uh, external organizations that are outside of, of UC Irvine. And in this way, we can bring some of those transferable skills into the university setting where it can actually influence our research directions and our training programs. So uh, this program kicked off uh, last fall. We had a committee that reviewed applications from across the campus, and we selected a very diverse cohort of these climate action uh, training students. So there are two students from uh, biological sciences, from ecology and evolution, uh, two students from urban and regional planning, uh, two English PhD students, uh, two, an anthropology student, a sociology student, and a student from mechanical and aerospace engineering. And uh, shown here is a, a picture of the students in one of the uh, training elements that we've piloted a couple months ago. So it's a very interdisciplinary cohort, and it's been fun to get this group of students together and communicating across what are traditionally pretty strong disciplinary boundaries. So here are some of the specific program elements that we're uh, piloting throughout the course of 2016. <clears throat> uh, the first one, again, depicted here was a climate data science short course. So we even had the English students getting in there uh, working with computer code and processing uh, climate data. In fact, uh, one of the projects that came out of this short course was a, a team of students who analyzed, um, using Google data, the attention to the California drought and whether the, the governor's uh, drought initiatives had any impact on people's perception of drought in the state of California. Um, currently, we have an ongoing climate action seminar where we're reading uh, chapters from the IPCC's uh, third working group report, which addresses uh, climate responses and solutions. Um, developing internships with partner organizations. So this is a keystone element of the program, <clears throat> is to get these students working outside of uh, academic labs and out in the field. And so those Internships are really going to provide some of the skills and, and the new partnerships that we want to develop. And finally, at the end of the program, this hasn't happened yet, but we're going to have a, a mini symposium where the students can come back together 
and interact, uh, describe their internships, and hopefully build connections across of our partners as well as uh, within UC Irvine. So here's just an example of some of those new partnerships. These are agencies or organizations that we're working with to uh, place students in intern internships with, and hopefully will ultimately provide career opportunities for some of our graduate students. So there's uh, NOAA, the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, um, which is a national agency. Uh, the Southern California Coastal Water Research Project is a local water quality think tank. Um, Southern California Public Radio, which of course uh, reaches a very broad audience. Um, the UCI Sustainability Initiative, so entities within our campus, as well as some of our local uh, uh, cities, Newport Beach and Irvine. <clears throat> so looking forward, this is really a pilot program for what I hope will become a more institutionalized program at UC Irvine and other uh, research campuses. So one of the plans here is to try to scale this up by getting outside funding from the National Science Foundation, which provides uh, training grant support through a highly competitive program. But with the outcomes from this program, hopefully we can convince them that it's worth scaling up. And nonetheless, we still want to institutionalize some of the successful program elements, like the climate data science short course, and find ways to sustain that going forward in future years, because it seemed quite useful to the students who enrolled. And that included uh, about 10 other students outside of the, the uh, climate action cohort. And finally, in the long term, we really want to be placing uh, not only these trainees, but also more generally our graduate students into careers that are uh, rewarding, fulfilling, and also addressing these complex problems like uh, climate change and climate solutions. So with that, I'll conclude and take any questions if there's time. <laughs>